If you've been thinking of making a move to Rolling Hills, you will not want to miss this house. Today we are going to take a look at 36 Chuck Wagon, located here again in Rolling Hills, California. And let's just start with the fact that we are at the end of a very quiet cul-de-sac. Check out this video. So great quiet neighborhood located behind the gates in the gated city of Rolling Hills. Let's go check it out. So to begin, you'll see we have a huge three car garage and a beautiful paver driveway. As we enter the front of the home, we have this awesome flat, open, grassy area. So this does have a little bit of a unique layout, which we'll talk about, but this is one of the bigger, flatter areas um, of the yard for the house. Now come on in, let's go inside. Over this way, we have a really nice patio area. You can set up a dining table, enjoy some nice al fresco dining here and into the double doors, let's go inside. Right when you walk in, you can tell that there's tons of natural light in this home, great vaulted ceilings. And over out this window, we also have a views of the Queen's Necklace on a clear day. It's a little overcast today, you know, June gloom, but let's sit over here and check out the master bedroom. So, this home is a little bit of a cosmetic fixer in my humble opinion. So if I were to purchase this home, I would close this off. Right now we have two bedrooms and two bathrooms. I personally would open it all up and make one big master suite. So let's go in here and see what we have right now. Enter into the bathroom area, great floor to ceiling windows with tons of natural light and views. And again, high vaulted ceilings in this room. There's Annie in the camera. <laughs> um, and same thing over here. We've got another bedroom. This one's a little bit darker. It doesn't have the ceilings wilted. And then a bathroom at the end of the hallway as well. So like I said, I think it makes most sense to combine these two bedrooms into one big master suite. The home does have six bedrooms. Unless you need six bedrooms, I think that it's easy to consolidate and open up the floor plan a little bit more. Let's head this way into the family area and the kitchen. So right when you walk in, again, floor to ceiling windows, you've got a nice door that opens up to the patio, high vaulted ceilings, and then we've got the kitchen here off to the side. All right, now another thing I would do if I were to purchase this house, um, we've got a lot of bedrooms kind of tucked back in this corridor and a smaller kitchen for the size of the house. So I would actually blow out this bedroom here. This is like bedroom number six, let's say. I would blow out this bedroom and that way you could actually push open the kitchen and make more of an open floor plan between the kitchen and this living area. Open this up, have your alfresco dining out there. But let's go see what it looks like right now just to give you an idea. So like I said, we've got two bedrooms over here with a shared bathroom. And you've got great views from some of these bedrooms looking over at the other side of the, the ravine there. And let's head down this way. Linen closet. Now, like I said, we've got another corridor down here. We have our laundry room, nice good size laundry room, lots of potential. Another linen closet. We've got a bathroom with access to the exterior. A one bedroom and another bedroom, go ahead and move there. All right, now let's head over this way and we'll go check out the back of the house, backyard. Let's go through the kitchen first. And let's head out here. So you've got a really nice deck out on this way. Um, again, I would probably consider clearing out some of these trees and open up your views to the hillside across the way again. And let's sit down here and let's check out the lower pad. So this house is sitting on a little bit more than an acre, but again, a lot of the front pad is in the front of the house. There is a second pad down below that I'll take you to um, and a good sized side yard over here. You can 
suit, super quiet, really private. One of the perks of living in Rolling Hills. Okay. And down below, we do have a large five stall barn. A lot of the properties in Rolling Hills are zoned for horses. With the um, pad being so big down here, if you don't have use for the barn, I probably would take it out. And you can see when we get down here, it's a good size. So like I said, I would consider taking this out unless you need like a big storage garage area, um, possibly turning it into like a guest house, an ADU, accessory dwelling unit. Maybe you can even talk to the city about getting um, permits and adding possibly a pool down here, having a pool house. And then let's go check out the view from the end of the property here. So you can see really beautiful hillside views. So that's it. Thank you for checking out 36 Chuck Wagon. Again, this home is located in Rolling Hills. Um, home schools for you, elementary school is gonna be Dapple Gray. Middle school will be Mira Less, which is actually really close. I'd say about a five minute drive. And high school, as always with PV, you get your choice, uh, Peninsula or PV High. And again, if you are thinking of making a move to Rolling Hills, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.